Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're doing something a little bit different and we're gonna be outside really deep cleaning stuff and getting stuff done. We're getting summer ready now that school is out. I needed to get the golf cart clean because it's disgusting. I mean, it's literally an understatement. Disgusting would literally be an understatement at this point. I've been putting it off because every time I want to clean it or hose it off, it starts raining outside. So today's the day, it's beautiful out. We're gonna get some cleaning done outside and get the outside ready for lots of playtime and hanging out outside for the summer. If you're new here, I'm Becca and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I have three boys and I am a single mom and this is what I do. I give you extreme cleaning motivation twice a week, every Monday and Friday. And if you like that type of content, I hope you choose to hit the subscribe button and stick around. Be sure to also turn on your bell notifications. But if you're new around here, we have this golf car. Our neighborhood is a very big neighborhood with a very big path. All of everything we need is here. So honestly, I drive this thing more than I drive my car. Um, and it's just come in handy and a lot of good use getting back and forth. We live in South Carolina, so a majority of the year I can use this thing. And I mean, there's really only been maybe a full, between rain and a little bit of chilly weather, there's maybe been two weeks out of this whole year, whole school year where I haven't been able to use the golf cart. But yeah, I love it. It was a great investment. I'm really happy that I got it um, about a year ago and yeah. That's just, I get a lot of questions on like, how often do you use it and why do you have it? And everybody in my neighborhood almost has one. I mean, yeah, there might be a few people who don't, but most people in my area have a golf cart. Moving on to the front porch and the front porch is disgusting. That's, it's so gross. The front porch is so bad. You can see like all the markings, there's like leaves and stuff. So we're gonna get this area cleaned up until my lungs give out your beautiful I wanted to take a little break from cleaning to share today's sponsorship, which is Timu. I'm really excited to be working with Timu. They sent me some really great items that I know you guys will love and I wanted to share with you. They are a affordable website who has great coupons, great prices. You really cannot beat their prices. They also do 90 days of free shipping and free returns if you have any issue. They accept all major credit cards. They also have site-wide sales up to 90% off and you just really can't beat that. And I just wanted to share with you everything that I got today. So let me show you. To start with, I wanted some decorating stuff. So I went ahead and got some of these um, pompous, pappas? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I also got a two pack of these photo frames. So I got those frames for these canvases. I really wanna use them to decorate. I love how beautiful these are. I got a few of them um, and I'm gonna put them in the frames and put them in the bathroom. I got a big pack, I believe it was a six pack of these, which I'm really excited to use these. They are perfect for like putting hot pans on. I also got this new oven mitt. All right, this item I was probably almost the most excited for. I've been wanting to get something like this for so long. It is for your pots. When you have water to drain, it's a strainer that you literally clip onto your pot. And so then when it's on your pot, right, you just take the pot and you tilt it like that and it drains out. Next is this Q kitchen utensils box. I It came with a box, right? also came with a bunch of utensils. I was in the market for some new ones. Next, I have this silicone massage bath brush. I love the idea of this for Lola, my dog. If you've been around, you know who Lola is. You put soap in here, and then it comes out the bottom down here, and then you just massage and wash her. I also got this thermometer for the kids because, you know, I'm a mom. I don't think you could ever 
you can't go wrong with something like this. Next is this alarm clock that I got for my oldest. He is in the market for a new alarm clock. Uh, the one he has now is just, it's done. And I really liked this one because it's digital, obviously, which is super cool. But this thing right here, so it's got a little lens up there and it shows the time like on the ceiling. I also got this cute little bird feeder. I'm really excited. It's got these little sticky things that you can stick like on your window. So I'm going to stick this bird feeder on one of my windows, put some bird food in it and the kids are gonna love this. Next, I have this trash can that I got. I specifically got this one for the golf cart. If you didn't know, we have a golf cart and obviously with it being wide open, the wind kind of like disperses everything everywhere. So I needed something that I could fit in a cup holder with a lid so that nothing flies out. The last thing I got is this little portable vacuum. I got it specifically for my car because if you have children, you already know the car gets messy. I just want to let you guys know if you shop this stuff in my description box, I will have it all linked down below. You will get 30% off with my coupon code. Thank you so much, Timu, for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to cleaning. I wanna put you in that spotlight. Now that I got everything off of the front porch, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it down, like get all the cobwebs. The front porch is really dirty. My house in general probably could use a good spraying, but we're just gonna start here. Um, I just wanna get a lot of the dirt off, the cobwebs, and all the kind of you know gross stuff get it out of there i actually eventually want to i've put the front porch on the back burner because i work on the inside of the house so much that i kind of just forget about the outside sometimes to be quite honest so but i've really been looking into like front porch furniture i think i have a set in mind that i really want to get um, from Lowe's so I'm kind of waiting it's a little bit on sale right now but I'm waiting for it to go a little bit more on sale and see but let me know if you want me to do a like porch makeover on my other channel I do have another channel where I do vlogs and like decorating content motherhood lifestyle content I will have it linked down below if you want to check it out but let me know for those of you who are already over there and love that stuff, let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing. I really would love to share it with you. This is the doormat that I've had for years and I usually just pressure wash it. You will be amazed. Like when you pressure wash this thing, it comes clean. So good, so good. Like I'm always, every time I do it, it's like one of the most satisfying things. But if you have a mat like this, like at your door or whatever, get your hose, get your pressure washer and just hose it down. to the backyard. I have Colby to help me get the furniture out. Obviously when I'm pressure washing it, I usually try to take it out of this little nook area. Don't mind all the weeds. It has been raining a lot more here, like a lot more than usual. So we've gotten a little behind on the yard because it's been harder to keep up with it. I have plans for this area too. Uh, I would love to like put, add some more concrete to this area right here. Uh, but so I don't really do anything like I don't put any rocks there or try to like feed the grass or anything like that to get it to grow because I just don't you know I, I don't even want to keep the grass there 
So plans in the future, we'll see. Um, depending on how long I stay in this house, it will be you know subjective to that. But I would love to have like a patio couch and have like a table to sit at and eat at, maybe like a gazebo or whatever. So the plan was always to extend the patio. So we don't really do anything with that area except for pull the weeds out. And as you can tell, like I said, it's been raining a lot. They grow like weeds <laughs> whenever it's raining. And of course I get myself all tangled up and almost fall on my face. <laughs> but I really wanted to get this patio furniture out there and get it hosed off. It's been a long time. Um, it's It was really dirty and it truly is just amazing how much a pressure washer can do because you literally just witnessed how clean it just came. And it still has imperfections, don't get me wrong, but, and the kids were having a blast like messing with the water, but it's just amazing how clean it comes. I actually have decided that um, Chris is gonna take this set um, for his porch and I'm gonna get a new set. I really want this sectional. I'm going for more of like a lighter wood look and I'm really excited to uh, start working on that. So y'all will have to let me know if these are videos you want to see, if you wanna see kind of like a back porch makeover. Obviously it won't be too long because it's gonna be pretty simple, just some furniture and like maybe a rug and a little bit of decorating, but nothing too much. So, but you'll have to let me know if that's something you want to see. Grayson was so intrigued with the pressure washer, so he really, really wanted to use it. So it kind of vibrates kind of hard. So at first I was like, all right, well, let me do it with you and so you can get a feel for it or whatever. And then I kind of just let him go off on his own and do it. You know, it's good to teach them young. And I've mentioned this before on my cleaning channel. My kids actually do enjoy being independent and a part of cleaning and helping out, even though <laughs> A lot of people think I just let my kids like trash the house and leave it disgusting, but that's just not the case. And when given the opportunity, they do actually like to contribute in any way that they can. And he wanted to on this day. So I said, you know, why not? All right, friends, that is it for today's video. I am going to let these cushions sit kind of awkwardly on the couch while they dry, and then I will move it back the next day. I usually let them sit overnight. They get really wet like this, so they need to sit and really dry out. Thank you so much for choosing to click on this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out Timu's website. I know you guys will love everything they have to offer and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.